You ready? I'm waiting on your brother. Just waiting on Dan. About ready to head out. Joel, you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. As ready as I'll ever be. I don't know what that means. We're on the way. And we're all telling uh, Dan how to drive. Dan, how do you like being told how to drive? It is what it is. <laughs> He's a good man. He puts up with it. <laughs> you know what he doesn't put up with, though? What does he not put up with? People not cutting the grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mike, if you're watching this vlog, I'm sorry, but it had to be said. We made it. We made it. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Good. Four hours later, we made it for an hour and a half drive. <laughs> He's actually a very fast driver. You wouldn't know it. But uh, we stopped for wood, we stopped for charcoal, we stopped for water, we stopped for whatever's in this cooler, I don't know. It might be first. anything. We stopped for Joel, he had to go to the bathroom. Twice. Twice. And... You have your phone. We'll have the we'll have the wood from the fire. Dan's headlamp. And the neighbors. Yeah. Yes. How, did that, how did that feel? Look at the view. You're my best view. Front row property. Seems like pretty tough work. This is a rare sight. It's all putting in work. There's a uh -oh. big rock down there. A seven. No. In Northern Virginia. Do you, Dan? No. Yeah. Let me show you. Sure. All right. All right. Okay. Is this happening, guys? It's happening. And well, stuck. just quit dragging it and start pushing. Come on, Joel. Let's see it. Fire. <laughs> Chaplain came by. Jim. Jim was his name. So the best camping spot. And I was like, I know, because like, I booked it. Dan's doing a really good job. I think he might not know what he's doing. Our life is in your hands. Without the fire, we don't eat. So just put that into perspective. It's a beautiful, beautiful steak. And the vegetables, they slide down your mouth. <laughs> Wiping off my hands, keep my hands clean after my filthy business. And filth like my brother. <laughs> kind of I feel good about myself. <laughs> uh, it's the next morning. We got Peter. He came in. I slept in the tent over there with Trent. You guy. All right. So nice. How many? I'd give this B plus. B plus. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a B plus. No. <laughs> Whoa. Yeehaw. <laughs> Here we got. Yeah. Hashtag. In this together. Hashtag in this together. So I'm here with uh, Dan, talking about life. What does it mean to have a time of just living in the moment? Dan, do you have any thoughts? <laughs> this is true. I guess, yeah, the, there's a It's constant go, go, go. I think most people like the outdoors a little more, just it gives them a disconnect from everything. I'm from the middle of nowhere, so it's just flatlands. Coronavirus. And then we came here to unplug and Dan is doing just that. He unplugged his phone from the wall and now he has now it on his lap. Tree. <laughs> Do you want to tell the people about the canoe trip? We almost tipped because uh, Joel was leaning a lot. I regret nothing. Peter is just like chilling. Yeah, his living his best life. So, some kid lost their like rubber thing on the lake. Mr. Peter went out to go get it. Wow, he's got it safe. Rubber ducky. This man knows what to do. Yeah. All right. All right, Dan, where are we going? Uh, to get more firewood. Always protecting yourself and others. I don't really. Nothing what I'm looking for. <laughs> you could. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
Wow. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Going to the pool. Going to the pool. So, we're going to the lake. Yeah. So, Dan thinks we're at the ocean, we're at the beach. I really don't think that he knows. No, oh, it's off. Turtle races with Mark. A watermelon. We waited until like 10 o'clock before we got dinner last night. We're all in this together is what I'm saying. Good morning. I had a great night last night. Okay. Did you have a nice sleep? Did. Yeah. Good. Tent over there. Dan's packing this tent up. Man, it's a beautiful morning. Over and out.